common tree planting complaint is a pain or discomfort on the tree side in the upper back between the shoulder blade and the spine. Planters complain of a pain with lying flat on their back, taking a deep breath and a twisting movement towards the tree side. Pain can sometimes refer around the chest wall. Pain originates from the joint where the rib meets the spine. By analysing the rib and spine mechanics and comparing these to different planting techniques, some risk factors have been identified. Planters have to ensure a good tree depth and root position by placing the tree at an appropriate depth. To achieve this, the planter will often do two things, which together or in isolation overload the rib and the ligaments that connect it to the spine. Bad. On the tree side, planters may overround the shoulder on the chest wall, which puts strain on the spine and rib articulation. Planters may also twist the upper back and chest too much placing a rotation force on the spine and rib joint. This occurs when the planter doesn't clear the shovel sufficiently, causing an axis of rotation around the shovel. Often a combination of both over-rounding the shoulder and over-twisting occurs, and this is exacerbated if the legs are kept straight. Try to reduce the rounding and twisting, keeping the upper back more level by bending more from the hips and knees. Tape is an effective way to provide biofeedback. It helps to reinforce shoulder blade position and prevent over-rotation and reaching. This can be used as a preventative measure or at the early onset of discomfort. Due to the physical requirements and nature of planting trees, workers experience neck discomfort. Planters describe achiness and heaviness in the base of the neck, which can radiate up into the base of the skull and down into the shoulder blades and upper arms. Occasionally planters can experience pins and needles or numbness associated with neck discomfort. There are two important terms to understand when discussing neck issues. Protrusion and retraction. Protrusion is when the head is pushed forward and the chin is jutted forward on the spine. Protrusion is bad for the neck because it compresses the joints in the spine and puts strain on the muscles. Don't do the chicken. Retraction is good for the neck as it activates the muscles that carry the weight of the head and it reduces the strain on the spine. The head is heavy. In a protruded position, the weight of the head loads the spine and the muscles that hold it up. With retraction, this load is spread through the deep muscles of the neck, unloading the spine and maintaining space for the nerves. Bad. Tree planters have a tendency to push their heads forward when planting. This occurs often due to over tight shoulder straps, rounding the shoulders forward and pushing the head into protrusion. Following placing a tree, a planter will look up for their next microsite. This action causes excessive protrusion and extension, which can cause the neck symptoms and headaches. Neck issues are further exacerbated by sleeping on the drive home. Without active muscles to support the weight of the head, the load is carried by the spinal support structures which can cause pain and inflammation. Good. Most bag weight should be carried on the hips. Ensuring shoulder straps are unloaded enough to be able to slide one finger underneath them gives reinforcement for good shoulder position and prevents carrying excessive weight on the shoulders. Fit the shoulder straps when standing upright with the shoulders rolled back and down and the chin tucked in a retracted position. When looking ahead to the next microsite, tucking the chin slightly will activate the deep muscles of the neck, which help to carry the weight of the head, unloading the spinal support structures. This action will reduce muscle tension in the back of the neck and help to prevent headaches. Retraction or chin tucking exercises can be used as a preventative strategy or as an early intervention exercise for neck issues. Do retractions throughout the planting day. We recommend five repetitions frequently. If the chin tucking exercise increases your pain, consult with a healthcare professional.
Don't do the chicken. Don't do the chicken. Don't do the chicken. First one is the best. <laughs>